We're live? Okay. Hi, Blake with Boulevard Home. Today, we're gonna to talk about washing machine issues, specifically leaking or overflowing. So we're gonna talk about that today and go over all the different things that possibly could cause that and things that you could look for yourself. And there are several reasons for it. They're similar when it comes to a front load or a top load, but there are some definite differences. So let's talk about things that are specific to a front load machine. You have that nice rubber boot that goes around the door. Now that rubber boot is also the seal for the washing machine itself, things that people always don't do and I was actually this morning I was out to somebody's home that they were complaining that their washing machine leaks sometimes the sometimes was well they've got animals when I went in there the glass itself on the front of the door the very bottom part of it there was a bunch of pet hair on there when you close that door that pet hair was sitting right between that rubber seal and the glass when that hair sits between the glass it has a way for the water to escape and to get out between that seal and that glass and then you'll get drips simple fix take some glass cleaner clean it off did the same thing again closed it and ran it no leaks another place that possibly can leak out of a out of a front load machine now this happened to an employee here at boulevard home every front load machine at the very back of it some manufacturer call them different things but they're referred to as a breather hole that's what i refer to them as because basically it's an area that attaches to the inside of the drum and goes out and is just uh, exposed to the air so if somebody decided to stick their little sister or brother or cat or dog inside the washing machine and shut the door, they have somewhere to breathe. They've got oxygen, you know, that can come in and out of this machine. What can happen is if you oversuds, so you decide to get real zealous and, and put a lot of soap in there because more soap equals more clean, right? Uh, when it was getting a lot of soap generated inside the washing machine, so when it was spinning out, it was actually spinning those soap suds out of that hole in the back of the machine, and that soap suds running down the back of the machine. As soon as soap suds hit the floor, they turn into water, and it did trickle out, out onto the floor. They realized that when they were putting a very large blanket in there, huge large loads, with the amount of soap they were putting in, because of the space it was taking up, the soap was then getting out and then running onto the floor. These are things that you can check. So I always call the paper towel test. So if you're always curious where possibly the leak is coming from, if you put the paper towels right by that area, you can figure out where that water is coming from. Front load machines that have a clean out with them and, th and that's that little door at the front, not everybody has it. But now with that clean out, a lot of people get really, you know, they check them all the time and take them apart all the time and they're putting them back on and they're turning them as tight as they possibly can turn them because the tighter they turn it, of course, the better it seals. And uh, again, no. So when they take it on and off so much, when they put it on, the seal itself no longer seals or you didn't turn it in enough because you turned it too softly. So that's a possibility. You could be getting some water coming out of that clean out if you have one of one of those on your front load machines. But generally when it leaks from those areas, it's going to be all the time. It's not going to be every now and then. Those other things are more of, it's going to kind of come and go. Let's talk about some top load machines and things that can be caused from top load machines. This doesn't happen as much as it used to, but it still can happen. People have their top load machines. They want to put their soap in and they want it filling it up with water so that soap gets all sudsy and all mixed up and then they like to stop their machine and then start adding their clothes don't do it that's a bad thing the machines have a pressure switch on there and what that means is if you're filling it up with water and then you start putting clothes in there well you're putting a lot more water in that machine than what you should have when you displace it with all the clothes so the water gets extremely high at the very top of the machine so that water can start sloshing over the sides of the drum starts running down the outside of your, your basket and then onto the floor and start coming out the floor. One more thing with, spot, with, with top load machine. If it's leaking sometimes, make sure your machine's level. Oh, it sounds funny, but make sure it's level. Because that basket in there, it's independent from the, from the case itself. So that basket, no matter how it sits, that basket, just like spinning a top, when you spin a top on the ground, it's gonna self-center and it's gonna spin upright because it's spinning. Well, the wash machine's gonna do the same thing. So if that wash machine's not level and that, and that basket is then uprighting so it's now straight compared to the way the machine's sitting it could be leaning in such a way that when it's actually filling with water from the top it's actually missing the drum and then it's running onto your floor so uh, always make sure your machine is level if, it, if it's leaking every now and then just stick a level on it if it's not level level it up you're going to save yourself a bunch of hassle with the machine as far as operation in general it's going to spin better it's going to wash better and you're not going to have it beating against the sides and you don't have that potential of, of leaking coming from that. So now we can get into what's common to both of them. So your pump being backed up, meaning on a front load machine, uh, you haven't checked your clean out in a while and it's taking a long time to drain. Now, 
It's not very plausible, I will tell you, but that is a possibility. And something you can also check is your water connections to your washer and your dryer believe it or not, because a lot of these machines have steam to them now. Just check those connections. A simple thing you can easily do. Check it where it comes from the wall, to the wash machine, check it to the dryer, and then also check it. Oh, and so why I'm saying this, I, I, my mind just kicked into gear here. Um, now, you're laughing during this. You have that pesky floor drain that's underneath your washer or underneath the dryer. That can also cause you a leak sometimes. The pipes are backing up and all of a sudden the water will come bubbling up out of the floor drain and start running out underneath your washer and dryer too. So that's something to check also. Um, you could very easily slide the machine out, put the machine on drain, see if you start seeing water, to shine a flashlight down on that floor drain and start see if you see water backing up in that floor drain. If you start seeing it back up in the floor drain, pretty good idea that it might be coming in from there too. So I hope these tips were helpful. I hope that they gave you some ideas of things to look. The paper towel test is the best test to find a intermittent leak. You just put a few around everywhere. You'll find it for sure. It may take a few times, but you'll definitely find it. So if you have any questions or any comments, or if there's something that I missed, just put them in the comments. We'll be happy to, to answer them. And thanks for watching. Well, thanks for watching, but wait, don't leave yet because we have lots of other videos. You should check them out on our channel because there's lots of great information that you will definitely find useful. Uh, you know, if you have any questions about something, check them out. Uh, please like and subscribe uh, and we'll see you again real soon.